on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Rippin here, and today we are back at again with another brand new Gunsmith build, guys. And today's video is going to be about the ASM 10 in Call of Duty Mobile Season 5 meta. So, yes, guys. So, you know, before I show you guys, you know, the Gunsmith build and whatnot and why this build works, I just want to let you guys know, you know, I'm really, really thankful and, really, you know, thankful and grateful for you guys for being really generous with your time and coming across this video and clicking on it and, you know, right now watching it and possibly later on you hit that subscribe button or in the like button and but nonetheless guys if you definitely haven't yet definitely hit that like button and thank you guys for you know clicking on this video but you know without being said i just want to go ahead and dive right into this video here as you guys can see uh in the gameplay i am rocking with the asm 10 the asm 10 actually did get a little bit of buff here this update especially with the range and whatnot and this gun is actually really really like you know it's it's back to being an underdog gun i would say that because it did get a secret buff but i don't know how many secret uh you know undercover buffs it got really you know what i mean but with that being said guys i just want to go ahead and dive right into the gunsmith build guys as you guys can see on your screen right now this is the current build that i'm rocking for my asm 10 as you guys can see i do have the mothic suppressor as my muzzle the old OC ranger barrel as my barrel the no stock as my stock the stippled grip tape as my rear grip and last the old OC laser tactical as my laser so we do already know what the Monster Express is going to do. It's going to silence and increase the range of this gun to a good amount. And then we do have the next coming up, the OWC Ranger Barrel here. What this is going to do is going to add in a little bit of range on top of the, you know, adding on top of the Monster Suppressor, which is going to really you know, make the range really way more than using the OWC Marksman Barrel. But with that being said, guys, that's what it, that's going to do. Both things are going to come with a good amount of ADS time, uh, you know, increase, and you don't really want that. That's why we go went ahead and added in the No Stock here. So the no stock actually does perform a really big function here in this gun because it's going to be the sole thing that actually prevents us from having such slow ADS speeds. And this gun, I mean, this uh, attachment is going to actually buff up the ADS speed, make it way faster. But with that being said, guys, we're still in the negative here. That's why we added in the stipple grip tape here to further reduce our ADS speed time here. It's going to cost with a little bit of, you know, uh, vertical recoil and whatnot and some bullet spread accuracy, but it's definitely worth it. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and slap on the last attachment, being the oldest laser tactical here. And this is going to really further, you know, increase our ADS speed because, you know, this is an AR with already slow ADS speed. And, you know, with the right attachments, you know, you, that's be a little bit issue. But this build fully, you know, uh, works out all the nicks. All you need to do is learn how to learn how this gun works, how the recoil pattern of this gun is. But you'll be get you'll be good to go. You'll be you'll, you'll be really good to go. But nonetheless, guys, thank you guys for stopping by once again for this video. I definitely make sure to try out this build yet. And the reason why also I said this build works really nicely is because, you know, the SM10, like, it used to be a really broken gun back then. It was three-shotting, and it still does, okay? This gun is really an underdog type of gun, and it still really shoots, uh, you know, kills people really, really fast. People think it's hard to use, it's really sturdy, you know, and they, it's really, it's it's actually a really heavy gun. It has really low mobility, it feels heavy, and the ADS time is really bad, and the reload timing is the worst. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The reload timing is like, I think it's the slowest in this AR. But with that being said, guys, that is it. That, that that's, uh, that's gonna be it for today. Definitely try out this build. Let me know if you guys tried out this build. Let me know in the comment section below if you're looking forward to trying out this build. If you already tried it, how did it work out for you? Just let me know, you know? And if it didn't work for you either, let me know why, like, uh, you know, if it didn't work for you, you know? I'll help you guys out. But with that being said, guys, unfortunately, that's going to be the it for today. Please definitely enjoy the rest of this gameplay with, you know, all the cool music going on. But definitely enjoy the rest of this gameplay. I'll see you guys in the next one, which is going to be tomorrow. But for now, guys, fortunately, wait, actually, you know, before I go definitely hit that subscribe button guys definitely give this video a like if you haven't yet you know the like button you know helps other people just like you to find good gunsmith build videos and if you like uh, and you're if you're subscribed to me you already enjoy you know watching me and you wouldn't care to you know tell someone else you know basically that's what it means you know it's an algorithm type of thing if you liked it it helps other people like it but with that being said guys thank you guys for stopping by once again i'll see you guys in the next one uh but for now guys unfortunately adios and peace enemy taking Bravo.
Contact with enemy. Target in sight. Tango down! Moving forward, always getting closer. 